My name is Dr. Liz Claiborne, and I'm an emergency medicine physician by training and the CEO and co-founder of Nasaclip, which is introducing the first and only adjustable hands-free nosebleed rescue device. Who here has had a nosebleed before by raise a hand? A lot of us, right? This is a very common problem. What I found shocking is that when I was in training, I learned we see 500,000 ER visits a year for nosebleeds. And I couldn't believe people would come to the ER to see me over such a simple problem. But I soon learned that people tend to mismanage nosebleeds. They put their head back instead of forward. They pinch the wrong part of the nose, or they don't hold constant pressure. And because nosebleeds are most common in kids age 2 to 10 and older adults 55 to 80 who are often on blood thinners, they tend to panic and then they show up in the ER and I really didn't have much to give them. I would usually tape together tongue depressors or try to make some type of clip. So I knew there had to be a better solution and I came up with one, Nasaclip. It is a medical device for treating nosebleeds that works both in the consumer as well as medical setting and is sized for pediatric and adults. The way that the device works is it has these medical grade sponges that can be medicated. You can put an agent on them like oxymetazoline or Afrin. It helps direct the medication to Castlevax plexus, which is the origin of bleeding for most anterior epistaxis. So if you were having a nosebleed, you'd simply clear your nose of clot, insert the nasal sponges, rotate it into place, and pitch it shut. Just like that, you have firm but constant uninterrupted pressure in the right anatomic location. You leave it in place 10 to 20 minutes and then simply release the clip and check for bleeding. You can actually rinse and reinsert two to three times until your bleeding has stopped. So our brand promise is that we're introducing a hands-free, mess-free, fast, comfortable, and convenient nosebleed rescue that's recommended by a doc like me, but doesn't require a physician. And of course, something that's kid-friendly, which is important because they make up about 40% of nosebleed incidents, even though there's really nothing for them on the market. There's actually not great solutions either on the consumer side or the medical side. There's kind of bulky clips, inserts that still require you to pinch. And if you fail those treatments and come to the ER, I might have to pack you or cauterize you or use a nasal tamponade device. So Nasaclip is a disruptive technology and effective first line nosebleed rescue. My vision is to really build this company as the brand name for nosebleed rescue, essentially the band-aid of nosebleed. And I see this as a ubiquitous medical product, right? It's helpful in a school, home, office, or clinic. And that is why our, our market is so big. It's not only useful to me as a physician in an ER or urgent care center, but it's also helpful for a school nurse or a coach. We earlier this month had a great feature on CNBC, and after it aired, the Miami Dolphins reached out to us, American Airlines reached out to us. We actually are uh, working with Disney right now to get the NASA clip on all their cruise ships and parks. So there are quite a few B2B as well as B2C opportunities. And in fact, we know from our market research that one in three households in the United States has a member with common recurrent nosebleeds. So you could realistically imagine NASA clip being in every nasal, you know, no, basically first aid cabinet across the country and eventually the world. So our go-to-market approach is to first actually look at more of our B2B medical segments. We made that decision after doing some extensive customer discovery to ask people, how do they know how to treat nosebleeds? And they'll usually say, you know, a doctor or a nurse told me this or a trusted family member. So once we've established ourselves as that go-to solution for nosebleed emergencies in the medical setting, it'll make it easier to step into the consumer setting where they're going to need a little more marketing and education to make them aware that the solution exists. The device currently comes in a two 10 and 20 pack. We launched onto the market Q4 of last year, and we sell a twin pair in the uh, uh, medical setting so that you can actually send a patient home with a to-go device, which reduces their propensity to bounce back within 24 hours and increases patient satisfaction. I want to talk a little bit about our product roadmap. The device I showed you here today is our class 1 510K exempt device that is on the market. This Later this year, early 2025, we'll be introducing a combination kit that will have a gel formulation of oxymetazoline with the Nasaclip. And then our Series A play is to actually look at Nasaclip as a drug delivery platform. So I initially designed the device to stop nosebleeds, you know, to help my epistaxis patients. But I soon learned that it's actually really effective in delivering 
other intranasal medications. Uh, Narcan or naloxone, for example, the opioid reversal agent, usually delivered by a nasal spray or atomizer, but oftentimes a lot of that med washes out, which is why it's not effective and we have to redose them. So when delivering that medication with nasoclip, the sponges maintain contact with the mucosa, the system's put under pressure, so it's a more effective and efficient way to deliver that med. And that could be applicable to other groups of medications, benzodiazepines, analgesic medications, um, seizure medicines with the benzos, or even um, something like allergy or migraine meds. We just submitted our NSF SBIR phase two grant, which would be a million dollars of non-dilutive funding to explore Nasoclip as a drug delivery platform. So far, I have raised a total of 3.25 million for this company. I did a 1.1 million pre-seed note, and I'm in the middle of my $4 million seed raise. Over halfway there, 2.25 close, and hoping to wrap it up in April this year. We will be working this year to get to our first million in revenue. And in particular, the capital be, will be used to drive our sales and revenue. So you can see the majority of our budget is like dedicated to our uh, marketing and sales initiatives. I want to take a minute to talk to you about my experience being a black female founder in this med tech space. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me how I became a CEO because, you know, I was in academic emergency medicine physician and I didn't necessarily plan for this a shift in my career. I just saw a problem that I thought we could solve better. But I will say that I was always a leader um, as a physician. And in fact, during COVID, I was about six months pregnant and worked through the first wave of the pandemic, ended up doing quite a bit of national publicity at that time. And I did that because I thought it was important to represent an articulate, well-educated black female physician that could speak to, you know, a patient population that I often cared for, other blacks and African Americans. And for those same reasons, I would love to knock it out of the park with Nasoclip. Not only because I think I'm introducing a simple but elegant solution to nosebleed emergencies, but because I think my story will inspire other women and people of color to pursue their entrepreneurial journey and also for investors to realize how amazing my my demographic can be as founders, especially when we have access to early capital. I have an amazing team with me that we are building this year. In fact, Mike Russell, my head of sales, is here with me at LSI. And in general, we look at uh, us as probably having a six to eight X revenue exit. And these are some of the strategics that I think will be interested in our technology as we gain momentum and we engage with several of them already. I'm gonna wrap up by playing my how-to video, which is something you can watch on our website. Whether you are a healthcare professional treating patients, a parent helping your child, or a nosebleed sufferer seeking a solution, here is how to use Nasoclip for quick relief. Your Nasoclip arrives in packaging like this, with individually wrapped Nasoclips inside. Nasoclip comes in both adult and pediatric sizes. The boxes are color-coded for sizing. The adult size fits ages 14 plus, and the child size fits most kids aged 2 to 13. Children ages two to five may not tolerate the nasal sponges, in which case they may be removed from the device by unsnapping them from the wire. To begin, simply remove one of the nasal clips and open the sealed pouch. You may add medication to the sponges if directed by a healthcare professional before inserting the device. If you are assisting someone else, or if you are inserting the nasal clip yourself, the following steps are the same. Step one, bend the head forward and blow forcefully to clear the nose of any clots. Step two, pull apart pinch pads and rotate them away from the sponges to make it easy to insert both nasoclip sponges into the nostrils with the curve pointing upwards. Step three, rotate the clip into place and firmly squeeze shut over the nostrils. Step four, leave the device in place for 10 to 20 minutes. Step five, release the clip and check for bleeding. If bleeding persists, rinse the sponges with clean water, squeeze dry, and reinsert until bleeding has stopped. Please seek medical assistance for nosebleeds lasting longer than 30 minutes. Each nasal clip can be used for one nosebleed episode. Please visit us at nasoclip.com for more information.